Happy Friday and welcome to this weekly update. Firstly, I just want to start off by thanking everyone who has joined us at one of our Microsoft workshops over the last 12 months. It's been great to see so many of you in person and talk through everything from Azure through Microsoft 365 and um, through Copilot and all those kind of Microsoft updates, finishing off over the last two days talking about Azure Virtual Desktop, Copilot and compliance. It was great to talk over some of your challenges and talk you through how these products can help you overcome some of the common business challenges we're seeing, especially as we enter 2025. I'm hoping you all found it really useful and I'm looking forward to joining you all again next year for the next wave of our workshop series. So watch this space. Outside of that, let's talk about Microsoft news. Microsoft have done a couple of things in the home space this week, which I think gives a good indication about their intentions for the business space. This starts off with adding Copilot to the 365 subscription for free. So this is Copilot Pro, which was previously $20, is now gonna be part of the, the 365 bundle for home users. It's an interesting lean into the fact that Microsoft are understanding that Copilot needs to be a monthly subscription and doesn't really work as a one-off upfront payment like it currently is. So I'm hoping this is an indication that Microsoft will start to do the same thing for business users with Copilot for 365 or will give us the E7 equivalents that we've been looking for, those kind of higher tier bundles including Copilot. So watch this space, I'm hoping this is a sign of the times. Alongside this, Microsoft announced the price for extended support for Windows 10 for home users, which is coming in at $30 per user per year and will increase exponentially over year two and three. And um, they haven't released any business pricing yet. I expect the business versions to be slightly more expensive as they were with the previous um, renditions of ESU. Um, and I would just keep an eye on it, keep in contact with your account manager and we'll let you know as soon as it's become available. It's not gonna be a cheap system. It will be a month one, then an, sorry, year one price, then an increase in year two, and then an increase in year three. Outside of that, Microsoft have done something weird. They are toying with the idea of rebranding Copilot to Microsoft Intelligence, kind of leaning into the success of Apple Intelligence, which although it's launching in a very slow manner, seems to be picking up a lot more conversational talk tracks with tech, or well, sort of the tech world than Copilot has been. And I think Microsoft are maybe a little bit concerned about that and it looks like they might be rebadging the Copilot ecosystem under the words Microsoft Intelligence. Watch this space, we may well see that over the next few months. Finally, I have been updating the blog. So if you go to the Planet blog, I've just dropped an article about IT strategies in 2025 and what you should be looking at. If you are just about to write your strategy or thinking about where your business should be in 2025, give it a read, drop me a DM, drop me an email, let's have a conversation because I think there's a lot of things that businesses are missing, which if they don't do right next year, could cause them to lose business overall. Outside of that, that's my kind of wrap up for the week. Thank you for joining me and I will see you next week for the next one. Goodbye.